Hi, this is Susie Daphnis and Kat Matson coming to you from South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Now, one of the themes that we've seen come up again and again this week is that of creativity. And yesterday we had the opportunity to see a couple of people who touched on that quite deeply. One was Chase Jarvis, who's known for his book, The Best Camera is the One That's With You. That's right. Yeah, Chase Jarvis is um, well known in photography circles. Um, I've been following him for a while. His conversation yesterday was spectacular, easily one of the standout sessions that I have seen, where he stepped through his process for being more creative in your everyday life. Um, and this, the argument that we've now seen a few times is that this notion that some people are creative and some people aren't, in his words, uh, is, I'm going to use the word BS to keep it nice. Um, but, you know, he, he was just emphatic around everyone is creative but somewhere along the line at school we get told that we're not and this whole notion of left and right brain gets brought in and we just kind of go down separate paths. His argument is every single problem in the world today can only be solved with creativity and it's insane that we're therefore waiting for the creative people to be the ones who solve mm. the problem. So he came you know with 10 steps uh, around creativity, uh, some of those were to make something every day, to create something, uh, to find a tribe that has similar interests to you. And he's quite an advocate for education not being your life. So no matter what you study after school or beyond that, that doesn't add, uh, that doesn't determine who you become and what you, you can do with your life. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, in terms of making something every day or being creative every day, it's as simple as taking a photo, he said. Um, he also suggested um, finding space. You know, it's one thing to go out and learn and absorb and take in all this information but then you need quiet space to synthesize that information even if it's just a 20 minute walk um, which I've been a big advocate for for, for, for ages because I know that I work better on it um, yeah I, it was just one of those really inspiring talks it's worth noting too that his website um, creative live was is a spectacular educational source on being and encouraging creativity and it's all for free um, yeah, just just spectacular. Yeah, we'll put a link to that uh, in our notes um, alongside this video. The other thing for me and why I felt so uplifted is that he did bring that myth of creativity and what it takes to be creative down to its very basics and that all of us are highly, highly creative, but we haven't perhaps um, got the habit of being creative and he said that creativity is not a talent it's a way of operating and I think for me that was kind of the bottom line of what he was saying is like what am I doing today to be creative to make something to leave something in the world to show my work and he referenced back to Austin Cleon's yep. um, presentation of just the other day exactly it's funny because I saw Chase Jarvis immediately after seeing Adam Savage from the Mythbusters and he was talking about exactly the same thing um, art and science actually aren't opposite pole um, opposite poles they're actually very closely related and in fact um, Savage's point even was, you know, even scientific methodology called ask a question, develop a hypothesis and then experiment is actually by definition creativity. So, you know, for me, I had a good three hours of just be creative, be creative, um, come at from two different, two different angles and particularly in Adam Savage's case, when we think of him as a myth buster using scientific experiments, you kind of don't think, oh yeah, that's creative. So it was a really nice demonstration for me of the power of creativity and validated that fact that yeah we've we've all got creativity creative abilities we just need to develop that process for ourselves Great. and what we'll do is we'll put the 10 steps that trace jarvis shared with us um, in the notes alongside this video and we'll come back to you with more from south by southwest in austin